words. And uh, you can see that they actually write on the screen. This is a projected screen. And I'm not going to be able to explain how this works. Maybe, the, you know, if the kids are watching, maybe they right. can explain to their parents. I can't do it, but they write on the board. They can erase it. They can move things around. It's, it's amazing. It's really wonderful. And over the past two years, we've been able to channel about $45,000 in grant funding to Elmont schools for these boards. The kids love using them. They're enthusiastic about learning. Uh, they seem to learn faster. Uh, using the boards, it, it motivates the children. It's actually fun. Um, they see used... the way they're paying attention here. How uh, how interested they are in what's going on up at the at the screen there. It's really something. Um, they're in every school in Elmont uh, this year, and funding is on the way to buy even more of these. They're just tremendous tools. All right, here's our weather forecast. I hope he picks the good stuff here, Tom. Tom yeah, Alfano. We're is... we're in the month of May. Oh. I was hoping he was going to reach down and, uh, and, and deal with the sun. I guess we got some clouds and rains in our, uh, uh, rain in our future. Don't forget, this was during that rainy period in April. Oh, that's okay. Right? All right. So maybe, maybe we need an update forecast as that's well. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but the kids really do. Uh, they really did seem to be enjoying themselves that day, really into it, very aware. You can see the books that are open in front of them. Um, it's not just being the one up at the screen. Apparently, they keep a journal and a diary, and they're writing down everything that happens. And um, it, uh, you know, it's 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 very interactive, but it helps maintain. You know, you see those commercials on TV for the the DVD players and the cars, and how as soon as those screens come on, the kids start paying attention. Uh, this is sort of a, a variation on that very theme. Oh, it's a great tool. It's it's. Uh, I think we're going to see uh, here coming up now in one of the older grades that's using one of these smart boards uh, a section where. Well, I guess we're not going to see that now. But we saw um, uh, as we were looking at the footage back uh, in the office a dissecting of a frog. That was fascinating. I mean, to you, they had scissors and they could it open the great. frog. They saw the the, the it pointed really at the different great. organs. It was wonderful. It was great without the you know the mess and the you know. When we used to do it, Mike, in the old days, it was totally different. I can still smell the formaldehyde. Yeah, exactly. yeah, if you can do away with that, you've done, <laughs> you've done a really good thing. We're very old school here, folks. Mm. Um, Tom Alfano and I are going to also uh, move on here and, and talk to you folks about another opportunity uh, within the, the school districts uh, for education and for learning and for being able to teach the kids. And th this goes to, a, I guess, maybe more of the old school approach a model UN that was held at one of the elementary schools. This was a fabulous opportunity uh, for the, uh, the kids to learn about their world, about how people interact, about how greater communities outside the Elmont communities interact. And here, Tom Alfano, we see now some of the, the footage of that particular event. This was at Stewart School, if memory Right, the said. Stewart Manor School. That was Hope Cronitas we just saw. She was the host, the principal. Um, she's introducing the school board. There's our friend, Superintendent Al Harper, doing a great job. I'm telling you, Elman has a great history with the Model UN. Um, legendary school teacher Lee Marcus, for years, has been supervising that project, and now in retirement, he comes back and aids and assists. It's a great program. It teaches kids about uh, big issues like hunger, conservation, global warming, and um, just to name a few. Here's Lee Marcus, wonderful man. I think about uh, that resolution that uh, the students back in your area helped you develop about uh, doing something about the genocide in Darfur, Sudan. I mean, that's the kind of understanding that uh, the kids in the Elmont community seem to have about the greater world population. Yeah, no doubt. They, and so many come from different backgrounds that they do have an international bent that may not be present in some more homogenous communities. It's just a wonderful thing to see and to experience. Uh, no high-tech touch screens, what we're looking at here. This is just interaction between uh, the students, between the adults in the school community, and um, you know, good old-fashioned uh, learning how to speak in public. And you know, that's another whole part that comes out of this whole thing. Look at the kids walking up to the microphone, and they've got to learn a little something about how to present themselves, and that is a very good thing. That sure is, and uh, resolving disputes in an orderly and peaceful fashion using their minds and not their fists. I mean, the whole concept uh, is really at, at play and at work in uh, this Model UN experience. And they're Natalie dressed as well. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great thing to see. And uh, one of the things that I am uh, always uh, always take away from the different events that we get to see f out of the Elmont community is... Uh, uh, how much everybody pulls together and just puts the absolute best face on uh, what's going on 
and the kids just seem to be into it so much. And if you make the learning fun, you know, we, a lot of communities, they're talking about always the problems, the things that are going on, you know, keeping things safe, because you have to have a safe environment for the children to, to be able to learn adequately, and whether you're going to have uh, uh, metal detectors at the front doors of the schools. You're past that, and, and it seems as if uh, it, the focus is on the learning and look at the look at the great uh, product you mentioned it in the in that uh, household that you were uh, speaking with. Look at the product. We've been blessed by good leaders in the community. I, I am convinced that school boards and superintendents and principals play such an important role with the teachers in the classroom in making our schools safe and fun and, and centers of learning and and oases of uh, of calm for these young minds to develop and grow. And um, we really have had that experience here. And one of those very educational leaders of which you speak is Terry Lewis of the Gotham Avenue School. And Tom Alfano had the opportunity to present an award to Terry Lewis recently. Let's take a look at uh, that event, and we'll be back again with more today from Tom Alfano. I believe in education. I believe the most important thing we do in the state legislature is fund education. And you have one of the best teachers around in Mr. Lewis here. And I'm here to present Mr. Lewis with this award. This is a surprise to you, sir. But this man has dedicated himself to you and your education for years. He works six days a week, part of the Language Academy, stays after school, cares about each and every one of you. He's a role model for you. He's a smart man, dedicated to you and to this community. And I believe in rewarding that type of good behavior. So on behalf of the people in the 21st Assembly District, and in honor of Black History Month, I want to give you this New York State Assembly pro proclamation, Mr. Lewis, which, which memorializes your very hard work on behalf of the children of this great district. So God bless you. What a terrific thing for you to take the time out and for everyone within the community to honor uh, those uh, teachers who are going that little bit extra to get the job done. Very well deserved. Uh, Mr. Lewis teaches in the summer school. He does goes above and beyond. He teaches at the Language Academy. He was instrumental and worked hard in uh, Black History Month committee. He helps uh, some uh, stage productions and GYL functions, uh, Gateway Youth Outreach functions throughout the community. He's a real leader and an inspiring teacher. And, you know, we can talk about those smart boards and all the technological, terrific things that keep the kids so interested, but there is nothing more motivating than a good teacher. It is the teacher that really gets the kids to uh, decide that they want to learn. And look at, the, uh, look, look at that right they there. Were, that's, they were, that's right. Spontaneously, the kids were congratulating him with great enthusiasm, and I noticed that as it was happening. And I said to myself, this, is, this was a great choice because... Uh, the kids truly uh, like and appreciate this uh, great educator. And that was Marshall Zucker, the principal of the Gotham School, who was there too, and, and he's another inspiring educator. That's uh, terrific, because I was thinking the same thing. You could see that the kids were in tune with him, and there's nothing more motivating than, than the right teacher uh, uh, being able to pull that kind of enthusiasm out of the kids, that kind of attention. That's what it uh, all boils down to, regardless of all the other things that we're talking about. That is a, a terrific event. Now, uh, we spoke earlier on, Tom Alfano, about his Mentors and Leaders program in which he brings, you know, you, you sometimes you have to bring the kids to Albany. You can't always bring all of Albany to the kids. You do a good job uh, trying to do that as you uh, are in the schools meeting with the children uh, so often. But, but you want to see the real deal. And we have uh, oftentimes advised any of you folks that are watching this program, if you get the opportunity to come to Albany and see the Capitol building, it is an impressive thing to see, if you, especially if you can see the legislature in session. Um, and spring, beautiful time to do it. The tulips are coming up, up. It's a beautiful thing here in Albany. And here right now is uh, some students from Dutch Broadway that came to Albany recently and uh, had an opportunity to spend a good part of a day with you, Tom. That's Alpano. right. You, you see them uh, sitting in the assembly chairs. Uh, they had the opportunity to meet several of my assembly colleagues as well as uh, Senate Majority Leader Bruno. Uh, we discuss how a bill becomes a law. We have a town meeting, which you're seeing right now, where I talk to them about certain issues and take their questions. This is back a little bit when uh, during budget time, and you can see those stacks of bills on the desks there. Those, I think, were the assemblies. Uh, budget bills at that time. That that's, were... that's right. They came at that very important moment in time when uh, we were debating the budget, 
and uh, it was a good week.